Hey everybody, it's Alan Tanner uh, with Mike and Worth Sports. Uh, a few of you might have seen uh, the quick video I made yesterday at the ball field uh, introducing our new Gamer Series bats. And I just uh, wanted to have a conversation so that you understood how different these bats are from anything we've ever produced. I didn't really want to take up too much time at the field yesterday. I had a lot of guys there waiting to hit with me. And um, so I thought I'd just take a minute just to tell you and show you the, the two bats. Uh, the first one is my signature series bat. It's the AT-18 Gamer Series. It is a 12 and a half inch barrel this time with a half ounce end load. Um, after you've watched the video, you'll see, I mean, the, the whole barrel, you know, this whole part of the barrel here, probably 11, 10 and a half, 11 inches is usable on this, which is bigger sweet spot than most 14 inch barrels on other bats. So it, it really does hit up and down the barrel, barrel really good. And uh, as you saw yesterday, I even hit some really short pitches really, really far with this bat. And um, I'll talk to you a little bit about the technical differences here in a minute, but so uh, my bat, 12 and a half inch barrel, half ounce end load. On the miking side, on uh, the Ultra Gamer Series, this is a 14 inch barrel with a half ounce end load. So you guys that want a little bit balanced out, better feel, uh, the 14 inch barrel might feel a little bit better to you or guys that have been used to swinging longer barrel bats. I myself personally, as you know, my first three bats uh, with, with Mike and Worth have always been long barrel bats. And I have never preferred short barrel bats myself until I swung this. <laughs> um, I, I probably will go back and forth. I'll probably have one of my other 14, uh, 14 inch barrel bats as well as one of these in my bag. But I gotta tell you as far as technically wise and the way these bats are built, there's nothing else that we've ever done like these bats. So you ask me, why are they so different? We, um, we were out for a whole different bat when we developed this. And the reason why is because we listened to you, the player. And these bats really weren't made for um, the bigger power hitter type guys, although they'll love them and they, they certainly will hit tremendously well with them. But the majority play players out in the softball world are guys that are not super strong home run hitters or real powerful hitters. They're the base hitters, the gap hitters. That, that's, that's who's out there, you know, a majority of the players. So we listened to you and what we did is we thought that we would build a bat for the masses. And that's what these bats are because the break-in period of these is next to nothing. Uh, literally, when you get these bats, they are game ready. But let me just tell you that they change very quickly to be from game ready to absolutely the best performing bats we've ever built at Mike and Worth. Um, if any of you are familiar with compression numbers at all, uh, most senior bats start out at about 230 to 240 when they're in the wrapper and brand new um, as far as the compression uh, pound per square inch. Uh, these bats start out at 220, but the big difference is when I was hitting this bat, uh, on the first day, I tested compression after 16 swings and it had already gone down to 200. And uh, just so if you don't know, the lower the number of compression value, the more lively the bat becomes. So the lower the number, the livelier the bat. Now again, there is a point of no return. We certainly don't, don't want bats to be at 130 or something like that, you know, because that would be too soft. And I've made another video concerning just that, if you wanna watch that because you can't actually wear out a, a bat and get it too soft too soon. The beautiful thing about the production of these two bats is this, it will go down in compression very, very fast and get lively very, very fast. The video that I made yesterday with me hitting this bat, the bat only had around 75 to 85 swings on it when I was hitting it. And we already had compression down to 175, which is unbelievable. And that's why the performance of the bat is fantastic. Now there's been some other bats that have come out uh, from other companies over the years that are somewhat similar to that. But the difference between those bats and this bat is when they get like that, you maybe get 50 or 100 more swings and then what happens? The bat breaks. So it's really uh, what I call a disposable bat. Now a lot of you guys are used to buying a new bat every three or four months because you're used to that performance, you want that performance and you're willing to pay for it. Uh, the difference with these two bats, you're still gonna get some pretty decent durability out of them. Now they're not gonna be as durable as our bats in the past, I'm gonna tell you that up front, but they are gonna be more durable and more high performance than any other bat in the, in the senior market, period. 
And it's, it's been, you know, I've, I've done uh, testing on these bats over the last eight months. Our engineers have just been diligent at trying different things. These are totally different layups and materials we've ever built before. And we have really dialed these things in to be perfect for everybody. If you're a stronger player and uh, you hit the ball really hard or you hit a lot of flush line drives, put 50, 75, 80 swings on this bat, put it in your bag and use it for games because you'll still get a season out of it if you use it in games. Uh, if you are that type of, of strong, strong hitter, you might want, not want to use it in batting practice every day. Uh, unless you unless you don't mind you know buying another bat during the year because you'll probably break one and you need one more but there's nothing like these bats in the market nothing and we have worked really really hard and long to develop them um, I've been told they are still being made in our facility in Caledonia Minnesota and um, because of that they are going to be limited production uh, the dealer orders on these bats just since the uh, the word has gotten out about them have far far, outweigh what we thought we could build. So uh, I would highly recommend if you want to get one, and I recommend you do get one or two, is to pre-order them now, because I've been told that some of the dealers, uh, we're gonna have a hard time filling orders because of the popularity of this bat already. So I'm gonna be doing another video uh, later on showing you the swing of the Mikan uh, Ultra Gamer Series. I will tell you that I did some preliminary testing on, on it and uh, the, the compression values went down almost exactly the same as when I was swinging this bat yesterday. So either one of these bats are gonna be ultra, ultra high performance very quickly and uh, nothing like you've ever swung with a, and with a sweet spot and some decent durability. So if you wanna get one of these, I highly recommend you give me a call, 561-718-7504. As soon as you can, I'll get you on the pre-order list they are supposed to be shipping to me somewhere around September 15th through the 20th. Once I receive them, I will be shipping out pre-orders immediately. If you have any questions, feel free to call me or text me. But again, I wouldn't be left out without one of these, the AT-18 Gamer Series and the Mike and Ultra Gamer Series. Thanks a lot.